What's up guys, Arby here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clay grunt using, yeah, this clay. So, you're going to need like brown clay, gray, whatever you want the grunt's skin color to be. Um, silver clay, like a tiny bit, a bit of black clay, then like some red, then some orange. So let's start. What you want to do is you want to get the general shape of the grunt. So it's short, has stubby legs. And yeah, like has a big head. So in this one, I'm gonna make him like a grunt scene in like Halo Three, Halo Reach, you know, with the one with like the triangle methane tank on the back. So yeah, this is stiff clay. So yeah. Then you want to get the arms. Okay, so, got the arms done, now let's get the legs. This is very stiff clay, and that is because I chose this, because like last time I used clay, it broke a lot, so I got this new clay, which, um, like, it's like really stiff, you have to like spend a while to need it just to use it. But the good news is, like, after it's done baking, it is, like, it just becomes plastic. It, it, it does not break easily. So, yeah. Also, it's much sturdy. Like, I could literally throw this down the stairs and it wouldn't break. Well, not prop. that's probably an exaggeration, you know what I mean. Okay, so, I want to get the legs a bit stubby, so, okay. Let's do this. A little bit more. There we go, I think it's done. You can change the grunt shape however you want. Um, you just want to get this general shape. So My grunt's going to have this arm at the side. And it's going to have that arm holding a plasma pistol. Alright. I'm just going to compare this to my other grunts. And about the right size. Except I'm going to make a head like a tiny bit smaller. Okay, that should be good. Or if you want to make it different. Okay, what you want to do next is get your orange clay, and you want to, oh, here's my energy sword knife, by the way. You want to take, like, a big piece, like that. I got this big thing. Alright, this will be the backpack of the grunt, so you want to make it, like, the perfect size, because usually, like, grunts are identified by, like, the orange thing on the back, like the methane tank. So this is, like, one of the main points of, like, your grunt. You want to get, like, this triangle shape. And, yeah, just, like, round it out. Make sure it's not crooked anywhere. Flatten it if you need to from all sides so it's, like, a perfect triangle. So once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Sort of like a traffic cone, I guess. And then you want to stick it to the back of your grunt. You can just do this and press firmly. And yeah. It's like that. I want mine to angle up a bit more, so we can do that. If you want it shorter, you can either press in more, or you can like cut off some. So yeah, it looks good. What you want to do next is take some more orange clay. And you want to cut like little things that come around like... Actually, we'll do like the chest part first. So as you can see on grunts... One second. Well, I can't really find an example, but grunts like, you know, just use uh, this. Grunts have like chest plates, see, like that. So, we're gonna carve that. Or cut that, I mean. So, get something like that, 
and then like cut it. And I'm going to look back at this to make sure it's the right size. And then you want to see if the spacing's good. I think the spacing will work good. So I'm going to cut it. The cable, I'm going to cut it. Eh, Halo 2 reference, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that was a horrible reference. Okay. So, gonna stick this here. Make sure both of these are even, or else it will look really, really weird. Once you stick both of those on, you should have something that looks like this. Right, then what you want to do is you want to make things that like come over the side and like over the shoulder. I'll use this. So you want to like connect both of these. Alright, so I'm going to use some like clay left over. Just like mash this all up. And then you want to get like a long strip like this. Make sure it is like sort of thick, but not too thick. Like that, this thick, this. Actually pretty thin, but whatever. Um, cut this. So like make sure it's like flat. And then it can be like relatively short. It depends on the size of your grunt. So mine's going to be this size. And we're going to do it like that. And then the other side. It's a pretty good size, yeah. And then what you want to do is you like, when you want to um, blend it in. So I'm going to use my finger to blend it in so it like seamlessly goes into that. Then blend it into this. Yeah, we want to make sure it's like completely blended in so it doesn't just look like little things hanging off the side. So it's like straps. Okay. Then you should have something that looks like this. Okay, what you want to do next is you should have like things that come around the side like this. To connect like the back to here. And it should like be like that. So. You want to take more of your orange clay. And this time you want to cut like longer strips. It can either be longer strips or one big strip. So. I'm going to do one big one, see how that goes out. This one can be like thin, and, sh and, yeah. Once you have that, you want to like stretch it out, make sure it's the correct length. And... Okay, you want to put this here? Make sure it wraps around. Okay, and that is too short, so we're going to have to make it longer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to like press and pull, make sure it doesn't snap. And, yeah. Then you should have something that ends up like that. Once you're done, once you're done with that, it's time to move on to the face of the grunt. You could blend it in if you want. I'm just gonna keep it. I'll, I'll blend it in later. Okay, you want to take your black clay, and you want to make one big um, dot, or like one big um, thing, like one, one big um, black circle. It's like that. I'll hold it up to my hand. There we go. That. Then you want to make like two half the size of these. Okay. And 
uh, this is gonna be the gas mask of the grunts, or the, like the mask. Because in, in Halo lore, grunts can't breathe oxygen, you need to breathe um, methane. And then, let me put on your smaller ones. Eh, too big. Alright, I'm gonna take this, cut it in half. You want to get it to the right size. It shouldn't like be covering the entirety of his face. All right, that seems about good. Now you want to move on to the eyes. In Halo Three, the Grunt's eyes are like red, so I'm gonna make mine red. Make sure you get to the right size where they're visible and not like super super tiny eyes. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to take them, put it on the head, or like where you think the eyes should be. Alright, should be something like that. You could change the eyes. I want my eyes big for the grunt, because why not? Looks cool. Alright, then you can add detailing. Like, grunts usually have like little lines on the back, on their backpack, so I'm just going to add those in. Yeah, you can have like that. And then on the top, they also have like little things, like triangles, but I'll do that later. All right, now I'm gonna add some extra detailing on the gas mask. So I'm gonna take a bit of the silver clay, roll it up into a little ball like that. And then I'm going to put it on the gas mask. Should be like that. Make sure all the dots are nicely secured because you don't want them falling off. And yeah. So you can add your weapon of choice. I made this pre made passive pistol, which is obviously very, very big. So that's just, you gotta figure it out your own way. Like, yeah. Okay, so that's it. And you can, like, add your accessories to the grunts. Could make it like the grunt. Like with two suicide grenades or or plasma grenades and um like a plasma pistol, needler, fuel rod, whatever you want. And yeah. So I'm gonna compare this to my other grown also. Alright, see you next time.